hi guys you are welcome to my channel welcome to carol lush my name is carol quite often we want things right we want to achieve things we aspire to achieve things um, in the future or even in the in the present we have things going on in our life we're struggling to make ends meet especially with the cost of living that's increasing every single day and it's really really hard it can be really really difficult for people to kind of just uh, come out of that spiraling struggle so um but what i am here to talk about today is to encourage you to start up a business start up a side hustle a main hustle whatever you want to call it right however you want to dress it up start something do something that's what we are going to be looking into today we'll be talking about the pros of starting a business so we'll be focusing on what are the benefits of starting a business what is that thing that sort of uh, you know will be beneficial to you or to people around you in the future it might not be beneficial now but bear with me what is that thing that you benefit from how is it going to impact your life how is it going to make ch a change how is it going to give you that sense of you know fulfillment sense of you know joy and happiness how is it going to do that so we'll be looking at that today and for that i have written a few things down so hi guys my name is carol as you already know for those who are new here my name is carol and welcome to my channel please feel free to subscribe you know to just just listen to me rant i am sure somewhere somehow in between my ranting you pick up one or two things that will be beneficial to you and for those who have already subscribed thank you so much for trusting me and thank you for coming back and i do appreciate that so yeah as i was saying before in my introduction we'll be looking at the pros of starting a side hustle if you want to call it like that a business if you want to put it like that a main hustle if you, if that fancy or you know if that sort of makes it sound posh but the main thing is the benefits of gaining extra Income. wow so whether it's even a main income or, or that extra that something extra isn't it so we all need that something extra so what are the benefits of that so in order to, for us to move forward i've written a few things down like i mentioned before so i'll be peeping every now and again for me to kind of just stay on track with everything that i've got on just so that i don't be the benefit of starting a site a hustle i'll call it like that is immense I am sure where there's benefit there's also you know uh, negative so there's a count somewhere and the benefits of starting a side hustle is quite immense it is massive it is really 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 massive and i think it all boils down to you as an individual me as an individual us as a people if you want to call, put it like that but it boils down to that individual who is thinking to themselves how can I raise funds or what am I going to raise funds for or I've got this thing going on I need extra money for where am I going to get that extra money you know my dream has always been to do A or, or B how where am I going to get extra money or how can I move forward with achieving my dream you know uh, fulfilling my desire if you want to put it like that where can I get that it doesn't really matter what you are doing so long as it is legal and so long as you are not wasting your time so long as it is, is so long as it is something that will uh, yield you some money in the future or even in the present if you do not know the pros or the benefits of starting a side hustle right you can look at your own life as a person as an individual and say to yourself what are the things that i need in order to move forward so if you've got a family for example you've got children how can i afford my children's school fees so no matter where you are, whether it's school fees, whether it's extracurricular activities. So if you're in countries where, you know, school fees is not really a problem, then there are also extracurricular activities, which are still part of the children's education. So how can I achieve that? My salary is not really doing it for me. How can I do that? So you could benefit from starting a side hustle to raise funds to pay that extracurricular activity for your children. That's also an investment because you're investing in their education. So that's one of the pros of starting a side hustle or business, whatever you want to call it. If you're thinking to yourself, okay, my salary is fine, but I'd like to kind of raise funds or raise 
uh, deposit for a house um, so instead of taking maybe five years i would like to do that in, in maybe three years or instead of taking you taking 10 years to, to raise a deposit i would like to take maybe five years to do so so that would be one of the pros of starting a side hustle so a side hustle in this case will be you working to raise funds working extra job of course to raise funds to get deposit for a house which is also an investment you could also think to yourself okay i'm already doing xyz you know i i'm already doing something small but i would like to kind of move from that small thing to something much more meaningful in a kind of bigger sense so one of the pros of starting a, a, a business as well will be you aspiring to kind of grow that business into something that will make you feel comfortable financially to kind of you know leave your main job and then move on to focus focusing on solely on your business so that's one of the pros of starting a business is you owning what you are doing is you being able to make the decisions about what you want of your business how you want to run your business where you want to run your business you know not having to answer to anyone and by the way i am not by any means saying that doing a business is easy it's never easy you know you have to be self-disciplined in order for you to do a business that will give you that sense of financial freedom or financial stability so it is not easy but that's also one of the pros of starting a business because there are people out there who do not like to really work under someone else who like to be entrepreneurs own their own business and then manage people so a pro for you who owns who own that business will be you having your thing it is your thing you enjoy doing it you've got the passion for it so that's one of the pros of starting a business so another pros uh, of starting a business is you saying to yourself for example we you know we do not know the future we do not we want that financial stability for our loved ones uh, for the people around us right so you might say to yourself i'd like to be able to you know leave something for my children you know uh, just so that they've got that financial stability you might want to maybe sponsor your children in university education so your children might be very young now yes you are working yes but then you want something extra for their university uh, fees or student maintenance or maybe for them to buy that first car or uh, or a deposit for a house for your children or to buy even a house for them so you might want to start a business or a side hustle because every single penny or benefit or anything that you yield from that business can just go into a pot where you can just save and save for your children to use in the future just to kind of give them that um that, that financial start isn't it in life because we know we already know as parents that it's very difficult it, it was very difficult for us and most of the time we want it to be not as difficult for our children so starting a small business will provide you that uh, provide them that, that financial start in life it could be to pay for a deposit for a house for them it could be to pay for anything basically for their wedding or to just support them financially when they do move out so it could be for anything you can't really focus and achieve any of these if you are not self-disciplined you have to be self-disciplined and in our next video we'll kind of look into how to be self-disciplined when we have a small business or a side hustle and mind you small business can be anything as so long as it is legal we've looked at the pros of starting a business some of the pros being raising funds for your children's education so that could be any aspect of your education including traveling as well raising funds for a house whether it's for your kids or for yourself with growing your business and also if you're working with people you know just the joy of you being able to support people help people i mean through your business of course because you're getting paid that also brings that emotional um, fulfillment in a sense that joy that happiness of seeing you being an asset to people so another pro of starting a side hustle or a main hustle a business is the fact that you are the, in control of your business so you have no one to take orders from obviously the client uh, a client is king isn't it that's what uh, 
that's what people normally say and we do respect that because you respect your client obviously but you have no obligation to anyone else but yourself and then your client once you've made that commitment to provide them a service so your client is uh, more or less king but then you are the boss of your own business you're answerable to no one else but yourself and your client as i said before so that's one of the pros of starting a business one of the pros of starting a business as well is the fact that you're able to manage your own time so you're able to say to yourself okay based on the business that you've chosen to go into you are going to give five hours a day to that business you're going to give 10 hours a day to that business you are going to give um eight hours a day to that business so you control the number of hours or the energy that you want to feed into that business so say for example if you're a hair braider and you decide to give to do five hours of braids every single day that's more or less one client's hair but if you had more time so if you had more time and decided to give just the five hours then you would only be paid for the value of the five hours so that's the one client but then if you had more than five hours and decide to fit to, to put all the more than five hours so let's say for example it's seven hours eight hours or ten hours a day into doing your craft doing your braids then you might go you might be able to do two clients hair and you'll be able to earn much more than that so it's just that having the ability to be able to to kind of manage your own time and say to yourself i'm the boss of myself you know that's one of the pros of starting a business so i'm the boss of boss of myself i'll give two hours into my business every day i'll give three hours i'll give five hours or even give more give more that's that's you that's up to you you organize your time you plan your time and you manage your time the way that you want Thank you guys for listening um, if you're new here please subscribe if you're an old subscriber thank you for coming back my name is carol as i said before and see you in our next video bye